everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with a stock switch and I'm here reviewing the diamonds, the DIA. This is the Dow Index. And I'm looking at this here uh, just tonight. <clears throat> Today is July 4th. It's a holiday, but futures are out at 6.30 Eastern time and we're up slightly here in the after hours this evening. I don't know where it'll be by tomorrow morning. It's a very long way away. However, we're not up enough here to make a difference for the look of the way that we closed on Friday. So right now, <coughs> excuse me. We are like, do, 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 like basically right here. And you can see where we closed. So we're gapping up slightly. That is not enough to, uh, to move this market, I don't think, tomorrow morning in any upward direction. So it looks like even with the gap up we're having tonight in the after hours, and even if we opened at this placement tomorrow morning, it looks like we're going to fall fall Thursday and we could fall Thursday and Friday. I don't really know if it's going to happen in a gap down or if it'll happen in the live day. Again, we're up tonight. We're gapping up in the market here <clears throat> and in uh, the S&P as well. But I mean, we had a strong sell off on Tuesday, which was a short day, half day, full day on Monday, half day on Tuesday and a very strong sell off. And we gapped up. We gapped up and sold off on Tuesday, and that is something that you really have to, to notice because, you know, even though it was a slow week, even though it was a holiday week, it just goes to show you that this move here, and I talked about it actually, I think it was in the morning. Maybe it was a night. I don't know. I mean, this, this was not institutional buying that occurred on the second. So there were traders that came that went long in here, the gap down in the support, but I did not think that would hold, and it didn't even hold for a day. I mean, depending on where you bought in here, you're down already. So this sold off, and even with the placement of where we are here up slightly, a little bit here tonight, I don't see how we're going to hang on to anything here in the next couple of days. I mean, it's just the question is where do we go from here and how do we act? and how volatile it really is, will the market be? So this could, even though it's a holiday week and I'm off, uh, except for TV, there there could be some decent moves in trading action Thursday and Friday. I mean, it's if you're around and you wanna watch it, watch it. But uh, there's some economic data out Thursday morning and Friday morning that could affect the market as well, but mostly I think the trade news and the overseas stuff could affect the market. I think next week is gonna be a critical week for the market actually the next two weeks, really the month of July. Month of July is gonna be critical for this market. There's so much going on, so much happening, and you really gotta watch it. So it could be a good period to make money. If you know what to do, you can capitalize on these moves, you gotta get them in the right direction. If you don't know how to do that, then my suggestion is take my Golden Gap course, because I teach people really how to read price action, really how to read where institutions are coming in and buying and selling stocks, and how do you read it? In the gap. But you gotta know how to read gaps right, and a lot of people just do not. So it is extremely important. I made a great call. So the market's lower here, even on the second when we rallied. I, I, you know, look how we fell then immediately the next day. And we weren't even open a whole day on Tuesday. And look how we collapsed. So right now where we're at, we're up tonight, but we're going to drop. I don't know where we are tomorrow morning, but I'm saying if we open right now this second, it was 930, we'd drop from here. Even though we're up, even though we're gapping up, we'd fall. So be careful. Be very, very careful if you trade tomorrow. Um, and be very careful anything that you go long right now in this period. <laughs> and good luck, everyone. If you're interested in the Golden Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.